So I'm playing uh, the role uh, of a foreman in the application. Uh, as a foreman, I'm responsible for one or more construction projects. As part of my job, I have to check out tools and material required from the warehouse. Uh, let me launch the application. So I will log in using my JD AdWords credentials. Once I log in, I land on my request screen. So the my request screen um, displays all the requests. Requests are orders that I previously have submitted for tools and material from the warehouse. These requests can be um, in one of many statuses. The draft status, for example, displays, uh, this tab displays all the requests that I have saved but have not yet submitted to the warehouse. The submitter tab displays all the um, requests that I have submitted to the warehouse, but the warehouse people have not yet started processing my request. In process tab displays all the um, requests that have been submitted and warehouse have started working on them. Ready tab displays all the requests uh, that are processed and are now ready for me to pick up from the warehouse. Now let's see how to create a new request. Uh, for that, I tap on the new button on the top right corner. This brings me to the add request screen. And uh, the first thing I do here is select uh, a construction project, uh, in other words, a job uh, for which I'm checking out these items. Uh, let me select a job, and then I provide a description to di differentiate this request from some of the other requests that I may be doing. And then I choose by when I need these, uh, these uh, supplies. I could be submitting this request a couple of days in advance so that I don't have to wait on the day, um, uh, uh, the day I need them. And also warehouse can prepare them at their convenience in the next couple of days. Once I fill in those details, um, I tap on save. This saves the, my request to JD AdWords as a work order. And returns a work order number back to me. Um, I could note this down for future um, reference purposes. Now let me go add the items, um, that is the tool or material that I need um, in this request. Um, for that, I tap on an add button. This takes me uh, to item catalog, uh, which comes from item branch plant in JD Edwards. Item catalog displays all the items that are available um, in the warehouse, along with the, uh, the images and names and uh, additional details about the item. So uh, this is the item catalog that you're seeing right now. Um, if um, I want to see additional details of a selected item, I could tap on any one of these items, and that takes me to a detailed screen with a picture gallery. These pictures are coming from JD Edwards. Um, uh, these pictures are actually media objects attachments associated with uh, the item. I could scroll across to view multiple items. And once I'm satisfied and I know this is the item that I want, um, I could go back and start selecting these items uh, to add to uh, my request. So let me add a couple of items. And if I need to delete an item, I simply tap on the delete button here. And I tap on save. And this adds item details to the work order that was previously created in Jerry Edwards. At this point, I could submit the um, request to, uh, to the warehouse. Or if I'm not ready yet, and I'm not sure if I got all the items, I could just go back. And I can uh, come back and start where I left uh, at a later point. To do that, I go to Drafts tab. Um, in the Drafts tab at the bottom, you see the newly, uh, newly created request that I just created. And 
If I tap on that item, it opens the um, my request in edit mode. And at this point, I can tap on submit to submit the request to the warehouse. Now the request is submitted and it is now um, in the submitted state. Now let me switch hacks at this point. Uh, the request has gone to the warehouse. Let me uh, play the role of JD, uh, the work order manager, who would be using JD AdWords to process these requests. Let me bring up JD AdWords. I log into JD AdWords. Go to the work order processing screen. and look up the work order that I just created. I've noted down the work order number. All right, so this is the work order that I uh, just submitted from uh, my mobile device. Um, let me, first thing the warehouse manager does is to change the status of the work order from submitted to in process. Let me do that. All right, the work order status is now changed to in process. Uh, now I'm ready uh, to start fulfilling the items. To do that, from the row exit, I uh, go to parts detail and look at the items that have been requested. And then for each item, I assign a location to fulfill the request. Let me repeat the same thing for the other item. All right, so I'm done with fulfilling the items. Now that I fulfilled uh, the request, I can change the status uh, to ready. Once I change the status to ready on the work order, um, the foreman would receive a notification on the mobile device. So let me bring up the uh, mobile device screen in parallel uh, so you can catch it when I, um, uh, you can see the notification as it arrives. So let me open, change the status to ready. Open both the screens together. I hope you heard that uh, alert song. So if I tap that, it displays uh, this alert, the third one from the top, that's saying smart card, your order 455726 is ready. That's the alert stating that the uh, order is ready for me to pick up. I tap on it. It opens the application. I go to the ready tab. There it is, the Teledrift expansion phase one, the second one, floor one supplies. That's the, uh, that's the request that I had previously submitted. Um, at this point, uh, I'm ready to go to, I, foreman is, uh, can go to, go, go to the warehouse, pick up the items and drop them off at the job site. Or they could send someone to go and pick it up. If they need any uh, additional details about the job site, such as the location um, or the uh, address of the job site, uh, they can tap on the job name there go to, to go to job details screen which displays the address and the location of the job site um, on a map. 